echo those comments and, and tell you something that, that Mr. McLeod um, did not report in, in, his, um, in his part, that we have worked with these gentlemen and their team a tremendous amount already, and this project could not be in better hands. So not only are we as staff excited about moving forward, excited about the amenity that this is going to provide to the community, but we're very excited to have them at the helm because it's really going to be a fantastic project. So thank you both for being here. Um, the budget update, our meetings are substantially complete. The budget committee's recommendation to the commission um, should come to you mid-May. Um, and we are planning for the public hearing for the first meeting in June and adoption at the second meeting in June. Um, I'd like to thank Ms. Black as well as Ms. Rachel Bowen, who is here um, on Stephanie's team, who's led the charge there. Thank you to all of you who have been in the budget meetings that you were able to make. Um, the meetings have been tremendous. We've had great communication with all of our outside agencies, the elected officials, and now the hard part starts. But we're ready for that, and we will come to you with a solid recommendation. Um, today I met with Mid-Air Force Base leadership and received an update regarding operations of the 93rd Air Ground Operations Wing. Um, while I was there, I also checked out the High Tower Road project, and that's moving along and it looks great. So I encourage any of you who have time to ride out that way to take a look. Um, right now, in our spare time, we're all about partnerships. Um, we are working with South Georgia Medical Center, EMS Service, and Lowndes County Fire Rescue for um, some joint medical deployment and new medical directive that we've not had before, but it will address some of those issues that we've had when the fire department arrived on the scene and could not provide the level of care that we would have liked to. Um, South Georgia Medical Center has been very aggressive in taking care of that medical director. Chief Green and his team are, are moving fast on that. Um, also, the Thomasville Humane Society has received a tremendous grant for spay and neuter from an organization called Best Friends. We are in their application region, so Animal Services will be meeting with them soon um, to partner on some free spay and neuter so that we can try to get ahead of our euthanasia rates there. Um, the City of Aldosta and our Public Information Officer and Community Development Director continue to meet. Um, I feel like you all have met weekly for the last couple of weeks. Um, sometimes more than once on community and citizen engagement. So it's really a focus right now for us to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our citizens and also letting them know how their local government is functioning. Um, and then we have a meeting coming up um, in a couple of weeks again with many Air Force staff on some additional P4 initiatives. So we'll be coming to you with some requests there. Um, as early as today, you all were invited to the City of Valdosta's on-demand expansion presentation in the morning at 9.30, just across from the MLK Monument. Um, whenever we met with Ms. Denton earlier today, she apologized for the late notification. Um, they've been really busy as well, but I hope some of you can make that. Um, I think that we have heard from you that transportation in, in the unincorporated area is a, is a priority as well. And last but not least, um, last Thursday at the Home Builders Golf Tournament, the county's team of Mr. Beals, Mr. Dillard, Mr. McLeod, and an unnamed recruited individual came in third. And um, gentlemen, thank you. I think that um, that's the first time that we have um, placed in a tournament quite a while. Any of you that are familiar with the Home Builders Tournament know that it's quite competitive. So um, they have set the bar high, and we're going to hang our hat on that one moving forward. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Davis? Yeah, the uh, <laughs> unnamed golfer. Yes, sir. Is he unnamed because he embarrassed the rest of the team? Really? No, uh, he, he is unnamed because he might just well be why we placed third and we're going to reserve that resource for another day. I just wanted to know when they've had time to practice to go third and if they're going to have to practice. Well, I can, I can tell you that I hear consistently from Mr. McLeod and Mr. Beals that Mr. Dillard has way too much time to play golf. And I'll leave it at that. 